and welcome to day six. Oh my gosh, day six of my 365 days of crafting videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make some cute earrings using fabric and fabric stiffener and just a few embellishments. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is choose the fabric that you want to make your earrings out of. I chose this yummy Amy Butler fabric. There's actually a lot of possibilities on here. The ovals, the, the squares, the little flowers here. You can even do flower petals out of these. And then what you want to do is you want to cut out the pieces that you want to use for your earrings. I made these cute little earrings using vintage trim and I just cut off one of the daisies, stiffened them, and then add the beads and the earring findings. And to start this, what you want to do is you want to take your pieces and you want to make sure you line them up. And I'm going to add some fabric glue to the back of one of the pieces. You just want to kind of lightly coat this with fabric glue. I'm going to take a paintbrush so I don't fray the fabric and just go ahead and lightly coat the back of one of these pieces and then when you get it completely coated you're going to attach the other piece then lay that flat I like to put a book on it so I'll put a book on it for just probably like five minutes and then after that's done, you're going to take it. I'm doing this on freezer paper because I like the shiny side. It keeps it from sticking. If you use regular paper, it'll stick to it and the paper will stick to the fabric stiffener. So, so what you're going to do next is take your fabric stiffener. Any brand will do. I just happen to have this one. And you are going to add fabric stiffener. Get ready to get your fingers dirty. I like to use my fingers rather than a brush. It goes a little faster. Go ahead and just coat the one side. And then turn it over and do the same. Now you're going to let this dry. I like to, sometimes I like to, it'll start to look like it's curling up. And all you have to do is just take your freezer paper, fold it over, and put a book on it again for a few minutes. And then it won't really dry if you have the book on it, so make sure you take the book off after a few minutes, after it's flattened out. So you're going to let that dry. And then when you're done, what you'll have is you'll have your stiffened piece of fabric. So what you want to do next is you want to trim off. There's going to be some kind of rough edges, so just go around and trim it up barely taking off any. You just want to get the little rough edges. So once you've trimmed that all the way around, the next step that we're going to do is to embellish it. I like to use these. They're actually pre-glued crystals. Today I'm going to use this tool to attach the crystals to my piece. And you can also use craft glue. Um, these are pre-glued crystals. So um, this is just like an iron basically and it just heats it on there. So you want to place your crystals in place to where you want them. Okay, so once you get all your jewels in place, I'm going to go ahead and use my little heat tool here and set them. Make sure you follow the directions on your heating tool to see how long you keep the heat on each crystal. Also remember where you started so that, so that you don't have one that you miss. Be careful with this tool if you have little ones around. It's very hot. Make sure that when you attach your top crystal that you leave enough room for a little hole so that we can put our bead on. So when you're done, it looks like this. Okay, so the next thing you want to do pick it up, shake it, make sure that you've attached all your jewels. And then I am going to make a hole in the top using my favorite craft tool ever. Um, and I am going to, this is, it makes a small hole or a large hole. You can also use a needle, a larger size needle to make a hole, or you can use a small, uh, 
tiny hole punch as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make my hole right above the crystal. So now you have your hole at the top of your piece. And the next thing you're going to do is you are going to add a jump ring. I like these oval jump rings. I don't know, you can just get them at the craft store. No specific brand. And you're going to open it up just a little bit. And then go ahead and place it onto your piece. We'll go ahead and close it. Okay, and then once you get it closed, you have your jump ring on there. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add one of these eye pins. And these come with a pre-existing loop. So you just open that up. Go ahead and put that on there and close it. Okay, so now you have this piece, your jump ring, and your eye pin. And then you're going to add your bead. And then what you want to do is you want to take your snippers and I like to snip off to about a half an inch. So just cut that off. And then I'm going to take my needle nose. And you want to fold it over like that. And then take your needle nose and make a circle until you have a perfect loop. So the next thing to do is to add your earring finding. And you can just go ahead and string that on, close it, and there you have your earring. Thank you so much for joining me for day six of my 365 days of crafting videos. I am enjoying this project so much and I hope that you're getting a lot out of it as well. Please keep the comments coming. I love hearing your comments and suggestions. And until tomorrow, happy crafting.